Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 11 of this Let's Play Part of Iron 4. This is the Civil War game, or the remnants of it, and I'm joined here by the Union of Britain. Hello. Played by... Bushy. The Dominion of India. Hello. Played by... Valenoma. And half of Europe. Hello. Played by... <laughs> uh, Igel. And I am playing as the United States of America, or as one of the commenters very... Nicely pointed out the perfidious eagle. I love that name. I'm so embracing that one. And talking of uh, perfidiousness, I realised between episodes that I'm currently supporting both the Dominion of India and also the Paratia Commune. <laughs> oh dear. What am I like? Generous of you. I know. I might need to stop one of those, seeing as I'm actually fighting you. No. Don't do it. I need it. I need those guns. Oh, it was actually three guns a month, not 30. Yeah. Such generosity. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is update some of my templates. Because I can now afford it. Don't, don't do it. Do it. Do it now. Okay, that's done. But otherwise, we're kind of waiting to see what Germany decides to do next. Germany? I'm not doing anything. Hence we're waiting. <laughs> Ready. Oh man, Britain had one job when I was the CSA. One job. <laughs> what was that? Built industry. <laughs> It's rubbish. Attention. I could probably yes, do with upgrading those. You guys are all... Maybe you're not. Keep on oh my God. The Entente is so bad! <laughs> Don't diss your allies like that. Jeez. God dang it. You you win those battles so quickly, I can't respond fast enough. <laughs> Just smash through. That's what we do. Yeah, you've taken that fort now. I did wonder why that was taking so long. This is a mistake. Mistake! That, that type of mistake. Yeah, never got the 1940 research tech. For what? With the minus 5% research time. Ah. <laughs> yeah, wow. that is definitely a mistake. That, that mistake. I would gladly swap guns for trucks right now. Uh, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Actually, I can't do a lend lease to you because you're at war. Not at war, sorry. I'm not at war. That's what I meant. You're not at war, so I can't do a lend lease. What is my ideology? What do I need to make more of? It is an excellent question. I'm getting all sorts of events that have no text. Uh, that's not good. Gerdom 3T. Oh, That's... very, very low popularity. Oops. My motorized doesn't have an image. Sounds like the same problem, same kind of problem. Yeah. Um, my government is changing, I think. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh, welcome to the Social Democrats. 
think I managed to avoid it. I don't know, your party popularity is at 30% for the Social Democrats. Are you joining the right side here? Ooh. Right side, oh. wrong side, left side? Now that's interesting. That is interesting. It is. What's that? I'm also I'm also rejecting that call to arms if it if it comes uh, my way. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Ireland joined the Entente. Very interesting. Thank you, very kind. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Bussy, are you scared of the Canadians? No, uh, not really. <laughs> Can we push across here? No. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, God. I can see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> here, no. Here, no. Here, no. <laughs> You're, you're poking me for weak spots. Little do you know, I have, like, my entire army on that little stretch of border now. I'm not surprised by this, but I can easily just shift somewhere else. I hope you're keeping a very close eye on them. Not close enough. <laughs> but look at that huge bulge you've just pushed out. God. Keep on attacking! Yeah, let's not have any people supporting that. Yeah, this is a uh, a problem. Good. I am very pleased to hear this. Come on, move out. It's not having the desired of impact. Ooh, but that does help. You you are a problem, Mordred. Excellent. Ooh, I can make more guns. I just seized a few factories. Good stuff. Congratulations. Fate of the Unions. Mm hmm. Which is uh, going to screw me over, right? Probably. Uh, actually, no. It does, however, mean more factory output. God damn it. <laughs> One second. Another oh. election kind of political event. Lots of options. Oh, freaking finally, the Social Democrats are my largest party. <laughs> the final option on this event is damn fake news. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. I'm still losing infantry equipment, even with all my lend leases. You know why that is? Because you're not getting it from me anymore. Well, I'm getting 11,000 Johnsons a month from the Netherlands. Seriously? That's not going to last very long, surely. Or maybe that's just like a single thing. I don't know. They are giving me an absolute ton of guns though the Demi or the uh, the caribbean federation is giving me 7200 infantry equipment french republic is giving me a ton 17000 and you were mocking the uh, entente just now they are keeping you alive 
Uh, they are keeping me alive, but at the same time, I see a lot of uh, Canadian and Australasian troops just doing absolutely nothing. Actually, the Australasians have left, it seems. I only see Canadian troops here. I haven't seen a single French uh, division. Oh yeah, and Australasia is just everywhere in the sea. They're just transporting They're troops around. They, they like yep. to see the world. Ireland, can you give me guns? Never. Thank you. <laughs> no guns what? for you. <laughs> they accepted, but they gave me nothing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, that's funny. Oh. No. No! Yes. Yes! <laughs> what happened? He, he's breaking through. Oh dear. I broke my concentration for one second and this is what happens. Ready to move. The Americans are here, baby. <laughs> I have to just stare at the front line the entire game or else I lose. <laughs> That's what I was doing in order to win the war against the French. It was about an hour and a half just staring at one spot on the map. Ready to move. Well, that increased my army size quite dramatically. That's unfortunate. I knew you'd say that. God damn it. Stupid Canadians. <laughs> Well, I have to say, I'm having marvellous fun with this right now. Of course you are. <laughs> I can't believe I managed to fight that entire war against what was basically the whole of Europe with um, civilian economy. That is kind I of crazy. Still have civilian economy. I should probably change that. I need some political power. Um, yeah, so do I. Keep on moving. Oh, what are you doing, Baratia? Don't you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to make you win. Oh, apparently we're retreating forwards. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Dead. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> How are they... Did they just get wiped out? They just no, vanished. No, they didn't. They teleported backwards. Like I said, they were retreating forwards. I retreating know, animation, I but that. I won that the fight. That was so weird. <laughs> that was so bizarre. Strange. Brazil's doing things and stuff. Dang it. And I am still losing to Baratia on their border. Good. I'm very happy to hear this. Why? Why are you impeding another democratic nation? Because you're the wrong democratic. You're the anti-American democratic. Not democratic enough. There you go. Thank you, Germany. <laughs> You're using autocratic policies to spread your democratic ideology. And imperialism. Imperialism is bad. <laughs> imperialism is bad while I exercise my imperialism. Shush you. <laughs> I already I won my war. I think you're thinking of the Canadians when you say imperialism. You're just the offspring of their imperialist desires. Yeah. And I've lost almost a million troops in this war. Have you seriously? Yes. 
I can't actually see the stats. Yeah, Baratia has lost 482,000. I've lost 800,000. That is surprisingly impressive. And a lot of that is just me throwing my troops at your troops. <laughs> Russia and Japan signed a white peace. Oh, wow. Japan oh. just took half of Siberia. Yep. That's not white peace, then. Turkestan is. The way really... it works in this game, it is. Basically, it's an event which fires, which gives them peace. Turkestan is winning the war as well. Nice. That was Japan... a change. Japan should not have accepted that. Are you kidding me? No, Japan shouldn't have. There, there are better events, like if you get all the way to the Urals, you can peace out for all of Siberia. And if you if you actually capitulate Russia, you can just turn Russia and Siberia into separate puppets. That's pretty impressive. I'm not appreciating these American troops here. Hi. I, I do not like... Why? You don't like the taste of freedom? Not your freedom. <laughs> Eat it and enjoy it. The wrong type of free. Why can I not leave the island of Crete? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Ooh. Hello. Oh, move some troops over there to stop Mordred from uh, breaking through. Oops, shit. Why did they retreat? Like, they have good organization. I don't know, my troops keep doing that. It's very annoying. Like, their organization is fine, but they keep retreating. Pushing them back, sir. Move out. This is very frustrating. Pushing them back, sir. Keep on attacking. At least I'm pushing a little bit in the north. Go, go, go. We're not pushing nearly as much as I would have liked here. And that's got rid of the civilian economy. More tanks. That's not good. Stop building tanks. And more Crete people who are stuck. Ireland is capitulated. Oh, that happened quick. Not no, really. it didn't. <laughs> I was watching I that for a while. Well, that was slow. Move out. Yeah. Because no one really came to help them. There are a few French troops in there, but that's it. Move out. Surprised Oops. the Caribbean Federation didn't do anything. Oh, I encircled all your guys. Yeah. Keep on moving. 
silence from across the pond. Uh, that's fine. Oh, how are you winning? God dang it. Skill and oh, finesse. you're not, because your troops are retreating for no reason. No, I've oh, retreated you, them. You, uh... We've survived. There. Disappointed! <laughs> Retreat! Where the hell All did you takes to... What the heck? All it takes to defeat the Americans is just throwing like 50 divisions at them. More stuff. More stuff. How many divisions did he have to throw at you? Eight. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of damage with just eight divisions. I He's don't like doing a ridiculous, mods. ridiculous amount of damage. And you want to know the really scary thing? You're pushing somewhere else now? No, I've just developed another division which is actually even stronger than those. Have fun yeah, with that. and you're going to be sending them next. Maybe. Probably. Mm -hmm. Ready to move. The Marines and the Mounties have joined the field. Yeah, surprisingly, the Canadians are actually starting to do something. What? Outrageous. Like, a tiny, tiny amount. <laughs> oh, I'm making old weapons. Let's make the new ones. Come on. Really? God. Canada, please. Please, no. Please. Please. Not please, no. Just please. You have like. You know, what? What is that? Like 30,000 division or like 30 divisions just sitting there? Like. Move out. You're not doing anything. <laughs> you must do more. Or not. Oh, the French The French are actually coming down to help now. Cool. That is uh, unfortunate to hear. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Ready to move. Well, I have to say you're getting these troops a lot of experience, so thank you for that. Yes, sir. Only yeah, counts I mean... if they survive. <laughs> it's not like I have a choice with that. Orders. Do, 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 do. And with that, we should probably end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this so far, then please do hit that like button. Yeah, if you haven't done so already, then do check out the perspective from Valonoma's point of view and hit also the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That would be awesome. If you want to support the channel in other ways, then do check out the Patreon as well. That is a goodbye from Valonoma, Igel, and Bussy. Goodbye. goodbye. Bye. And from me, we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.